Carl Frederick Gauss, who lived from 1777 to 1855, is considered to be the greatest German mathematician of the 19th century. Gauss was born in Brunswick, Germany on April 30th, 1777, to poor working class parents. Carl's father was a harsh parent who discouraged Carl from attending school because he expected Carl to follow one of the family trades of either a gardener or a bricklayer. However, Gauss's mother and uncle recognized Carl's brilliance early on and knew that he must go to school in order to develop his gift. One day, while in math class at the age of 10, Gauss showed his skills as a math genius when the teacher gave the assignment to write down all the whole numbers from 1 to 100 and add up the sum. When each student finished, he was to bring his slate forward and place it on the teacher's desk. Since this was a beginner's math class, the teacher expected the class to take a long time to finish this problem. In a few seconds, though, Carl proceeded to the front of the room and placed his slate on the teacher's desk. Much later, the other students handed in their slates. At the end of the class, the results were examined and most of the answers were wrong. However, when the teacher looked at Carlisley, he was surprised to see that there was only one number, 5,050, with no other work. Carl explained to his teacher that he found the result because he could see that 1 plus 100 equals 101, 2 plus 99 equals 101, and 3 plus 98 equals 101. Therefore, Carl could find 50 pairs of numbers that each add up to 101. From there, he multiplied 50 times 101, which equaled 5,050. At the age of 14, Gauss met Carl Wilhelm Ferdinand, the Duke of Brunswick. The Duke was so impressed with Carl's gift that he financially supported Gauss as he continued his education at Caroline College. Right after college, Gauss made a discovery that mathematicians had previously believed was impossible. He found that a regular polygon with 17 sides could be drawn using just a compass and straight edge. At this point, Gauss gave up his intention to study languages and instead turned to mathematics. Gauss pursued his studies at the University of Göttingen. At the University of Göttingen, Gauss submitted a proof that every algebraic equation has at least one root or solution. This theorem is called the Fundamental Theorem of Algebra. In 1801, astronomers had discovered what they thought was a planet, which they named Ceres. However, the astronomers lost this planet. The observations of Ceres were communicated to Gauss, and he was able to calculate Ceres's exact position so it could easily be rediscovered. Gauss also worked on a new method for determining the orbits of new asteroids. Eventually, Gauss's discoveries of astronomy led to his appointment as a professor of mathematics and the director of the observatory at Göttingen. Gauss remained in this position until he died on February 23, 1855. Carl Frederick Gauss, though he devoted his life to mathematics, kept his ideas, problems, and solutions in private diaries. He refused to publish theories that were not finished and perfect. Still, he is considered to be one of the three greatest mathematicians who ever lived.